and he walked in and looked me in the eyes. I picked who he was. So before he offered his hand, I offered mine. It is Christianity without power. Who is God without power? Christianity should not just be in words. Christianity should also be heavily in power. In this video, God's servant Apostle Johnson Suleiman tells an event that took place when a man um, with wings and diabolical powers came to him with an intention to do harm to him after some members of his church um, went and confronted the man or challenged the man or so. They had actually like a, a conflict or something with the man. So uh, the man then came to the resurrection apostle with an intention to do something bad to an apostle like Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Uh, but something happened in this video and I will let you to listen to what the Apostle Johnson Suleiman said about what happened to the man after he shook him. In this video, please do well to subscribe, do well to click the notification button and be part of the family. A witch doctor, some youth in our church, carried evangelism. They have put me in troubles many times. Carried evangelism, went to a witch doctor, come not to favor, and now from church. Minister to him, the man said, the brother is gone. If I see you guys, I will kill you. He said, you can't do anything, you have no power. He said, eh? He dropped the gun. He said, you want me to turn you to a chicken? So you can't do anything. He tried, tried, tried. Nothing was working on them. They stretched their Bible and they were praying in tongues. Nothing was working on them. And the man asked, which church? They said, my church. The man said, he had rings in his hands. If he touches you, you go cripple. So he took three days, prepared himself, and wore those rings. And sneaked and said he, he wants to see me for counseling. Sat down. Ah. I was talking to people, Sunday after service, talking to people, and, the rest, and he walked in and looked me in the eyes. I picked who he was. So before he offered his hand, I offered mine. As he took my hand, he fell. Right hand gone, left hand gone, right leg gone, left leg gone. He was carried out of the office. And I said, for attempting me, this is how you will die. Nobody can reverse it. And he has expired since. He has, he has expired. Oh. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, you can never, in this world of wickedness, no. it's an error to be empty. No. It's a crime to be blind. Yes, it's a crime to be blind. Yes, oh. It's a crime to be blind. Yes, Wickedness all around us. Wickedness. Mm. Ah. Some of you don't pray and things are working out for you. you say, I don't even pray. Things are working out. I don't even pray. I have a good husband. I don't even pray. I got a good job. I don't even pray. Listen to me. Some of you should understand. When you see people like that who things are working for, check their lineage. There is a grandmother who was a praying woman. Check their lineage. There is a grandfather who was a praying woman. Listen, you cannot run too long on borrowed tank. Am I speaking to somebody? Sometimes they go into extinction and you need to build it yourself. When you are the child of a praying mother, the child of a praying grandmother, the child of a praying grandfather, you are walking on their wings and running on that floor, running on that oxygen, running on that place. A time comes, a pastor sees miracles. He will eat no fasting. Miracles everywhere. This man is not fasting. Things are happening. This man is not praying. Things are happening. He didn't know it was his mother. After the mother died, he had a crusade. Not one healing. Not one manifestation. God said, now build your grace. Oh. No, he's going anywhere, the mother for three days. No food, no water. God move in my son's meeting. As she died, God said, Be your own grace. You don't, don't wait to be a victim before you acquire the fire. Hey.